Learn a basic of animating an object in Adobe Animate. Let me show you how. In the Adobe Animate home screen, hit New File. Make sure you're on Character Animation and choose Full HD. Your width will be 1920 with a 1080 height. Leave the frame rate at 30 and hit Create. So now we're in Animate. You have the scene or stage here in this big white area where you'll be doing all your animation layout. The bottom is your timeline, which I'll show you in a bit. I like seeing the entire screen, so to change that, I just go up here, change this to 50%, and I use the scroll bar to position the stage where I like. So you have your menu option at the top, the toolbar is on your left, and some panels to the right. These panels will change based on the workspace you're on. For now, go to Window, Workspace, and just make sure you're on the Icon Animation Workspace. Below is your timeline where you'll be setting up all your keyframes. This is your Layers panel where you can place different objects on different layers. Create a new layer with this button. You can put them in folders with this button or delete any layer by hitting the trash button here. Also, if you hover over these icons, it'll tell you what they're used for. You can show layers as outline, hide or lock layers with these three icons here. I won't go over what these three icons are here since that's more for advanced users. Your color options are here. Top left is fill and bottom right is stroke. Click on either box, a menu option will pop up. Just choose a color by taking the eyedropper tool to that color. Or if you don't want a color, just hit this red line. You also have options for a color picker menu option when you click this icon. The toolbar is pretty basic. You should be familiar with it if you've used Illustrator or Photoshop. For this lesson, let's go up to the Shapes tool and choose the Oval tool. So we're just going to create a basic circle. Hold down the Shift key and click and drag. Just make it about this big. It's going to be the color you have set in your fill or stroke box. So yours may look different than mine. If you made it too large, scale it down by using the free transform tool. Select your object, switch to the free transform tool. A bounding box will appear on your object and just drag the corner point to scale it down. So shapes are created a bit different here in Animate. So if you select your object, you'll see small dots inside. So this isn't your typical vector art. So if you have a fill and a stroke, you can separate them by just clicking the fill or the stroke and drag them away from each other. So once you separate them, just delete the stroke object. Now make sure your object is selected. Now go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol. A window will pop up, name it something simple. I'm just going to call it Ball. And for type, we can leave it as a movie clip. Now if you double click your object, it's going to create a panel up here that goes into edit mode for that object. I just wanted to show that in case you double click and get this tab up here that pops up. We're not editing this object, so just click the scene one to get back to the main stage. Now we're going to start animating. Move the ball to the top left somewhere here. Once you do that, a keyframe will be added to the first frame. If you look in your timeline, you'll see a black dot on your first frame. This is your first keyframe. So now I'm going to move down further on my timeline, say 25. Click here and then go up to Insert, Timeline, Keyframe. That's going to add a keyframe on that time. You now then have to move the ball to another location. So now select your object and move it to just about here. And if you scrub this blue marker, you'll see the ball jump from the first keyframe to the last as you move it back and forth. Nothing is happening between the keyframes because we have to do one more step. So click somewhere in between the keyframes. Now go up to Insert, choose Create Classic Tween. Or if you have a mouse, you can right click, choose Create Classic Tween in the pop-up menu. So now you should see the ball animate from the first keyframe to the last as you move the marker back and forth. The in-between animation was done by Animate by choosing the Classic Tween option. So if you forget to choose the Classic Tween option, you won't see your object animate. So now let's go to a new location in our timeline. I'm going to click on the 60 frame, go to Insert, Timeline, Keyframe, 
and move the ball somewhere up here to the top right. Now you can finish moving your object and do the classic tween after. The order doesn't really matter. For me, focusing on the movement of the ball is more important, so I'm going to create the classic tween once I'm done. So again, I'm going to move to a new time, add a keyframe, and move the ball again. Because we want this ball to loop, we want to end where we start. So you can copy the first keyframe and paste it to the last keyframe. So click on the first keyframe, right click and choose copy frames. You can also go to edit, timeline, copy frames. So now go to your last keyframe, right click, paste frames, or edit, timeline, paste frames. Now that ball will end up where you started. So now we should be done. Moving the blue marker is called scrubbing. So I do this a lot to make sure the ball or object I'm animating is where I want it to be. Once I'm happy with everything, I insert create classic tweens in between the keyframes. Click on this icon. This is your loop icon. And drag this bar all the way to your last keyframe. Now hit the play icon. And now it should play your animation and it should loop. Now it's okay if your speed is off, getting speed and motion in animation does take time. This lesson was more about moving your objects and using keyframes to create your animation. So that's it for this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.